Let's bring you a quick update on the security situation in Delta State, where some gunmen have attacked a police patrol team at Ole Roundabout in Isoko South local government area of Delta State, killing two policemen and setting ablaze their patrol vehicle. The Delta State Police Command Public Relations Officer Edafi Bright, while confirming the attack, said the Commissioner of Police Wali Abbas ordered they deployed a combined other that deployed a combined team of policemen with the support of troops from the Nigerian army to go after the assailants. Right, let's now bring in our correspondent in Delta State, Iken Amechi. Iken Amechi, um, we've seen a record attack between February and now in Delta State on, on security agents uh, in that state. What more can you tell us about this latest development and what the police there or security agencies there are doing to ensure there is no repetition of this? All right, Precious, let me give you a timeline to this um, incident um, of attack against uh, the police in Delta State. Of course, the last one happened uh, during the election or before the election where a police officer was actually killed uh, close to Asabaya, Lugolo, and uh, his um, it was set ablaze, and that was suspected to be uh, from the unknown gunmen. But this time around, uh, what I would say about this incident is the fact that uh, after the election, there have been upsurge of um, you know some insecurity in some parts of the state, especially in um, Wari Safle Road, um, close to Wari and Gele. They've been kidnapping. I remember the last time a Catholic priest, a Catholic priest was kidnapped, and uh, after some negotiation, he was released. And this time around, when the new commission of police resumed, just about two months ago, he resumed almost at the same time that the governor was actually sworn in. And what he did was to actually deploy uh, some tactical team in that area that we noticed um, insecurity, um, kidnapping, and of course, uh, armed robbery. And the tactical team actually yielded some result of you know, some arrests and then um, uh, were made. But this time around, it's coming from the blues, whereby a police. Um, uh, information was all police patrol was attacked at Dugili at uh, the only roundabout uh, just close to Ugili. Uh, and uh, at that point, you, the road is not actually good at that point. And there's always a police checkpoint there in case of uh, you know people trying to kidnap others because of the bad portion of the road. At this time around, on a Sunday, the armed men came and attacked them and killed killed them and of course burnt their vehicle. And the police is actually responding. It's actually like a repressor attack from the gunmen, which the police have been going after uh, 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 since after the election, where we have an upsurge of kidnapping and armed robbery attack in that axis. Precious. Mm. Thank you, um, Ikena, for that update. We expect to hear from you when, as investigation into this continues. A correspondent, Ikena, made a life for us there in Delta State. And we're back at the National Assembly, where the Speaker of the House of Representatives has appealed to two resident doctors in the country to put their planned strike on hold for two weeks to enable the intervention of the parliament. Speaker Tajuddin Abbas made the appeal at a meeting with the leadership of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. Over time, resident doctors in Nigeria have been at daggers drawn with the government over pressing labor issues. In May, the association called its members out on a five-day warning strike to protest unmet demands. The warning strike was in the aftermath of the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the government and the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors. The doctors later issued a two-week ultimatum to the authorities, criticizing the government for not keeping to the letters of the MOU. <laughs> This meeting led by the speaker is to find means of averting another strike in the nation's hospitals. While he understands the agitations of the doctors, his appeal is that they put the planned strike on hold while the parliament intervenes. We must approach these issues with an open mind and guided by the fact that revenues available to the government may not fully meet our demands. Therefore, we must find a middle ground that satisfies everyone without prejudice to the 2023 Memorandum of Understanding. The meeting goes into a closed-door session, which ends after about two hours. At the end of the meeting, NAD President Innocent Oji says 
government has failed to keep to timelines outlined in the MOU. We have gotten so many promises. In fact, even last week, we got a promise for us to wait for a day or two. You know, now uh, we are being asked again to wait for, for two weeks. We are leaders uh, of the association and uh, we are going to communicate this request to our members. Uh, and um, of course, they take their decision. Nevertheless, he says the leadership will take the speaker's plea to his members. The intervention of the speaker is expected to douse all tension and work out modalities for meeting the resident doctor's demands such that the average Nigerian in need of affordable health care does not suffer untold hardship. Joker TVC News, Abuja.